America, Tom Hand here with Americana Corner. Today we are discussing America's first political parties. In 1796, Thomas Jefferson, a Democratic Republican, challenged John Adams, a Federalist, for the presidency. Adams prevailed in a close election that saw campaigning between rival political parties for the first time in America. Four years later, the Democratic Republicans won control of both houses of Congress and the White House as Jefferson won his rematch election with Adams. For the next 24 years, the Democratic Republicans would dominate the American political landscape like no party has ever done, making America essentially a one-party country. Their nominees for president, Thomas Jefferson, James Madison, and James Monroe were elected to three straight two-term presidencies, which has never happened again. And in 1820, Monroe even ran unopposed for president. The party also controlled Congress, winning an incredible 90% of the seats. This period of unity and dominance came to a crashing halt with the bitter presidential election of 1824. The vice of tactics by Andrew Jackson and his Western supporters splintered the Democratic Republicans, and the party ended up with four different candidates for president. The House of Representatives eventually selected John Quincy Adams, but the magic was gone. Never again would America enjoy such a long period free from partisan politics. So, why should America's early political unity matter to us today? From 1774 to 1824, America was politically united. While differences of opinion existed, during this period, relatively speaking, we were of one mind. It is probably this unity which allowed America to survive its fragile birth and succeed in our great experiment in democracy. Until next time, may your love of country lead you.